So my favorite video game when I was growing up was Super Mario Brothers 3 and for the original NES system. And I first played it at my cousin's house. My cousins, Brian and David, had it. Uh, we were too poor for Nintendo, so we didn't have it at our house, but I was able to play it at theirs. And I got really, really good at like the first two or three worlds because that's usually all I had time to play <laughs> when I was over there. So thanks to David and RJ for letting me borrow your video games. So what I liked about Super Mario 3, uh, first of all, I liked that it was mapped out and you could see the whole world before you played it. And I also just like the new power-ups. And you know I'm talking specifically about the leap that can make you fly. Um, and the cute little froggy suit for the, for the water worlds. And pea wings. And the boat! Do you remember the boat? <sighs> what a great game. Uh, one enemy in that game that drove me insane and it wasn't even one of like the later world uh, Enemies that are supposed to be harder. It was in world 4, which was the water world and do you remember that level where like the Like the land is kind of like bobbing up and down in the water and there's a big-ass fish that like wants to pop out and eat you. I don't know why that was so hard for me, but that fish fucking haunted my nightmares. He was so hungry for Mario. And he got dinner every time. It took me forever to beat that guy, so. So the video game character that most resembles me is kind of hard because I don't know if you know this about video game culture, but like female video game characters usually aren't like chubby suburban middle-aged moms. <laughs> so I guess at this point by default, you gotta have to go with Kirby. I <laughs> think he comes closest. Look at I'm wearing pink today. It works. It's Kirby, right? video game I hated most when I was growing up was also for the NES and it was Double Dare. Listen, the show Double Dare loved it when I was growing up. Loved it. But the video game, so most of the video game is like the trivia questions that you answer in order to win the game so that you can play the fun part, which is the obstacle course. But the obstacle course was hard as hell, man. Um, unless you had like the power pad where you could kind of like, you know, leg it out. You had to like toggle back and forth on the cross pad. Um, and in order to get any kind of like velocity as you're running through the courses, I would have to like lay it down on a table and just like, and like try to do my best. And you, after you get to where you're going, um, you would have to like line up perfectly underneath the flag to get it. Sometimes it would take like 30 seconds just to get the goddamn flag after you already beat the obstacle. So, Mark Summers, um, I hope he did not sign off on that game because I don't want to start beating Mark Summers this late in my life. I hope Mark Summers isn't problematic. Is he problematic? Don't tell me if he is, okay? Don't, don't tell me. So thank you to Yumper and to the Sadistic Penguin Studios for letting me come on here and talk about my old lady video games. Uh, my name is Jackie and you can find me on Twitter at zombie underscore Jackie. If you want to read my baseball work, you can find it at southsidesocks.com. And if you, uh, my other work is at the all sports scene. And that's it. Okay. Bye.